What's going on guys? This is Raymond Iron by McKinney. Today, I want to talk about that what, what appears physical, our bodies and, our phys and the physical universe around us. It's not physical at all guys. It's only interpreted as physical. Everything we touch that appears as solid matter is only interpreted as physical matter by your frame of reference, by your mind, or through your, your brain interprets it as physical. And the brain itself, guys, is not physical until a mind renders it. And you're, you are not your mind. You simply look through the mind. The mind is the framework that the brain the brain interprets from the mind images from the mind through imagination through visual images auditory sounds kinesthetic movements or feeling touching with your physical or with your uh, uh, kinesthetics say for example I'm holding this bike right here film this video I am not actually touching it physically guys I'm only interpret my brain's only interpreted as I'm holding a bike seemingly solid bike it's only ranged atoms guys relative to my frame of reference directed by my observation if I truly take my attention off of not not being able to hold on to this bike and not feel it make that make that a dominant reality it won't be my hand it's only, I can feel in my hand right now. Um, even, if you're, even if you're not looking at it, if you can still, um, if you can still feel it without looking at it, guys, it's still rendered in your image. It's rendered in your image. Whether, again, whether it's through visual images, auditory sounds, kinesthetic movements, the traffic behind me, all around me, they're all rendered in my image, guys. Noises, images, and things I touch coming in and out of existence. It's really me orienting my frame of reference, directed by my self-narration. My self-narration, my observation, my focused observation, reveals one of those infinitely many states that already exist here now. All states exist within my own consciousness, guys, that I am consciousness, that I'm awareness, I'm the observer Observing infinite aspects of myself moment by moment. And I, I think of the brain, guys, as holographic. That when you think of a hologram, when you split, when you divide a hologram in infinitely many pieces, it never it, it can never be divided over, a number can never be over, divide over zero. Because it's undefined. It's infinitely splitting. It's infinitely splitting. You can never stop uh, dividing a hologram. And within the one of those images of the hologram contains the entire whole of the infinity. And when one of those fragmented pieces is uh, influenced, changed, or altered in some way, every other image, every other holographic image, simultaneously conforms to that image. Everything is energy, guys, vibrating on different frequencies. Just because everything's energy, guys. We don't see what we don't see everything because we're only looking through uh, individual frame of reference, Fra uh, frequency. I could be tuned into a station, music could be playing right now that I can listen to, loud and clear, guys. To another person, they can't even hear it. Music, all music is playing right here, right now, guys. It's simply tuning in to that station, whether it's through a radio knob in your car. You're tuning into the station. With the radio knob. When you're tuning into that radio knob, you're actually tuning in with your state of consciousness. You're tuning in from one state of, re state of your own consciousness to the next. Where the state where you couldn't hear music to the state where you can now hear, listen to music. Same with everything else, guys. You look at me right now. I appear as solid physical matter. But it's really, I'm really arranged atoms. Arranged light atoms of light and sound vibrating sound that what I what when you hear me when you hear my voice on here seemingly objectively it's actually yourself you're listening to yourself subjectively 
it's your, I, you could call it like a, I'm a projection of your subconscious mind. Now guys, here's another thing when I th talk about all this stuff. I don't believe we, it's, I don't believe it's like some sort of simulation life where everyone is fake and everything's an illusion and you're like the only one. How isolating is that? It's very isolating in my opinion. I don't like to think of the world as a simulation. You can call it that if you want, but it doesn't resonate with me. What I like to call it is, is what you become aware of, increasingly aware of. That's what becomes objectively real in your experience. The relationships you run in, the relationships you encounter, the, the money you exchange with people, uh, interactions with people themselves, um, everything guys, everything. It's that whatever you become increasingly aware of is what becomes real. You're simply moving your infinite dimensions within dimensions, infinite viewpoints, all within yourself, guys. All within yourself. And uh, I think it's a beautiful way of looking at life. I think it's a very empowering way of looking at life. You don't have to be limited to the um, things like, oh my God, gas prices are going up. Um, or uh, shortages and food. Um, scarcity and jobs all these things guys don't let those scenes derail you you can say in your reality nope none of those things affect me I've never had problem I've never had problems with money money's always worked in my favor um, I've always got the things I needed I've always everything's always worked in my favor you always make that assumption to yourself guys you can always make that general assumption to yourself isn't it wonderful that amazing things are always happening to me isn't it wonderful how amazing things are about to happen to me? Any way you want to word it, any way that feels natural to you, any phrase that uh, resonates with you. I still use isn't it wonderful every now and then, guys, and I still see people commenting on that one video I made probably a little over a year now. That isn't a wonderful experience I had. And where I just like blew up, where my subscribers blew up like crazy. I still use isn't it wonderful sometimes, and I still see people respond to that video. Now, it's like every Sunday, it's like out of the blue thing, where it's like they just respond when I, in my head, I say, isn't wonderful. I tune into the reality that, are, that I already have people commenting on that video. All realities exist here now, guys. There's no re, there's no lack, guys. There's no shortage in anything. You're whole and perfect. You're simply getting infinitely many fragmented aspects of yourself. You're observing infinitely many aspects of yourself moment by moment through your self-talk, your thoughts, your self-narration. All those things, guys. Your, self, your frame of reference reveals one of those infinitely many sections of life itself, and you are life itself. Directed by your self-narration, and your self-narration reveals those objective experiences relative to your frame of reference, moment by moment. Whether it's on a subtle scale, there's whether a, a very obvious, where it's like very obvious, guys. You can't, you can't fail. Life can't fail you because you are life itself. Express itself moment by moment. Experiencing and express itself moment by moment. So guys, this is pretty much the whole video I want to make. So I hope it, I hope it helps. I bless you all and happy manifesting. What would Iron Body do? I am the Iron Body. I've always been master of manifesting.